the water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravelick? Grovik. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so special about Greywoak? She never said, but knowing my sister, something drew her here. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about- but that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's- Ooh, The cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth's a darb. We all love her dearly. Ooh, teddy bear. Edward. We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of positively nowhere Scandinavia way. Just chase her down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful and beautiful and so desolate, like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. <sighs> it's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. The Fretland Farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? I believe it's that farmhouse. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet and... you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Be careful. The ground's muddy. You could slip and fall. See you in two shakes. Dear Mr. Harton, I would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Troubled to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Also sprach Zarathustra. On my way. Righto. Step to it, teddy bear. Lissy? I'm by the farmhouse. Where are you? Are you? I'm waiting for you at the farm.
Alice. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Up in the mountains, maybe. Herding goats? Are they goat herders? I took them more for fisher folk. The rain's picking up. We should get indoors. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. I'm coming in. This is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? I'm a guest. Why would I start poking around every corner of the house? I don't know. Maybe they're playing hide-and-go-seek. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. It's really coming down. How about a quick run in the rain? You can't be serious. You're already a wet blanket, teddy bear. It's not like you'll get any wetter. Look! Family pictures. They must be the... Uh, what did you call them? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and... John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johann Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. I'm guessing their daughter is the master of this house. She's cute as a button. I can't wait to meet her. She's guaranteed to be more fun than you. Old Johan's a bit wooden, isn't he? Like someone put a stick They're up, posing his, for a up photograph. his rear end. I say, loosen up, Johan! I'm sure you two stiffs will get along famously. Johan went and found himself a delectable bride. Alice, please. What can I say? She's a minx. Anna Fretland is a respectable woman. Her letter was courteous and professional. Didn't you say she was a city girl? Must have been awfully hard to adjust to life in the sticks. I can relate. Hanover isn't the sticks. Says you. 
Wait, is that... Are they... It, who's... They're all twins. All of them. That's Johan and Anna Fredland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. Frederick and Margaret. Twins marrying twins. <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. May 26th, 1899. <laughs> we'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. Dear Mrs. Fretland, I trust this letter finds you and your husband in good health. I wrote to inform them about when I'd be arriving. So where are they? Do they even have calendars? Maybe they don't know what day it is. Despite appearances, we haven't gone back in time. They have calendars. Home feels very far away. Are we feeling melancholy again? I've never been this far from Hanover. It's about time we got you out of that dreary old house, teddy bear. I asked about Elizabeth. And they hadn't seen her? Anna... Mrs. Fretland promised she'd write if she heard anything. There wouldn't be many female reporters from New York and Western Norway. Why would she come here in the first place? Betty always has her reasons. Oh, the thought of boarding that infernal ocean liner again. I quite enjoyed it. So much room for exploration and mischief. So many opportunities for seasickness and claustrophobia. Ah, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm sure your tummy will be better behaved on the return voyage. And you'll be craving enclosed spaces after a week in this wide open wilderness. Where do you think they've gone? The Fretlands. The Fretlands, the Hansons, the Jensens, all of them. I'm sure they'll be back soon. It's like a dead land. As though its soul has departed. You can see the whole village from up here. Do you want to go sightseeing? Tomorrow. It's getting late, and the rain's not abating. What are you looking at there? A book. Strange place for a book. Unless it was a terrible book that deserved a good burning. What's the title? The cover is charred. Christmas 1922. To Ruth. From Simon. Why would someone burn this? Like I said, maybe it was a terrible book. Is Simon one of the Freddy Landers? I don't think so. They only have the one daughter. Did you hear something? No. Huh. Must be the wind under the door. Or the churning sea. Or the interminable rain. Or flesh-eating ghouls waiting to pounce. Alice, honestly. You're the one who reads Poe to me. Don't blame me for having an active imagination. The books are all in English. Isn't that a bit odd? Mrs. Fretland is Scottish. Though she grew up in Alisund. Have you been secretly communicating with Johann's winsome wife, Edward Dearest? Certainly not. She was the one who wrote me, because Mr. Fretland's English isn't as... I was only joking. Lighten up, old sport. Don't be such a pill. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grubin. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. The mine was only in operation until 1902. They must have lost a fortune. An iron mine wouldn't pay itself off in five years. Can we go spelunking? Perhaps we'll find trolls in the Abyss and we can steal their ill-gotten gold. There was a cave-in. It'll be unsafe. Oh, boo. Frederick and Johann Fretland, 
Founders of the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. They're the spitting image of each other. Twin brothers and business partners. And they married twin sisters. Adorable. Who's the boy? He looks related to the other two. Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johan's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh... Nineteen. He might be the boy in the photograph. Operations were suspended after the accident. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johann was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious. Like he knew something was about to go awry. Oof, that's a grim sight, old bean. I'm exhausted. And soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's. Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it looks in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm. You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Um. Look. It is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Sit down. That's an order from your commander. Yes. Fine. I just need to... to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill? Well, what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. I'm just... Going to... Shh. Elizabeth? Is that you? Betty? Lissy? 
Lissy, are you here? Lissy? Lissy? Hello? Hey, who's there? Betty? Elizabeth? Wait! Lissy, there's someone outside. It might be Betty. Are you here, Lissy? Are you in here, Lissy? Who's out there? Hello? Betty? Lissy? Betty? I can hear you! Alice! Alice, where are you? Are you out there, Betty? Someone there? Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> Betty, is that you? Are you there, Betty? Elizabeth, are you there? Lissy. Where did you go? Why did you leave me? It stopped raining, and you were sleeping, and... Our boat, it's gone. The boat... what? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I, I think... Betty... It was Betty, I... It was her. 
It must have been her. I saw her face in the window, and... And she vanished into the dark, towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her? Yes. I mean, not... I... I mean... I saw her face, and... It looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow... And tomorrow's another day. Take care. We'll figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on.